welcome back to some more imperishable night. Let's continue the extra stage run with the magic team. These two fucking idiots are back at it again. Alright then. This could be a lot more tricky, I think. Because uh Yeah, the range. The fucking range is gonna be a problem, isn't it? But the damage might be nice, so maybe that'll be the offset that we need? I don't know. I honestly don't know. So let's just see what happens. Alright. Max power. Very nice. Oh god. Yeah, I, I felt... I did not feel safe, I had to bomb. That's okay. Stop. Excuse me? Well, fuck you then, I'll try it again. <laughs> what the hell was that? What the hell was that? That's ridiculous. Well, okay then. Right. Kill them all. All the fairies. Because they have the point items and power items that we want. They are delicious. What would point items and power items taste like? See, that's one of those discussions where it's like, we need to know that. Let's think. Fuck off! Alright. That's one of those discussions where it's like, I gotta know this shit. That's important. It's like, hella necessary to know. Like, who wouldn't want to know that? Let's actually get to the mid boss now, shall we? Wouldn't that be nice for once? Oh my goddamn fucking life. Come on. Okay. Yeah, it's better to do the streaming on the loadout here, I think. That was close! Oh god. Okay. That worked. Man, now we gotta kill these assholes. Before they... Yeah, not really anything I can do there, I think. So just have to dodge this the old-fashioned way. Or don't. That's okay. Oh, come on. Oh, fine, I'll take the L. Fuck you. Maybe it'll be fine. Maybe we'll just survive, you know? Take the one up at least. I've been waiting! You've got some guts to me on the left of full moon. Well, this is a trial of guts. I want to do one thing on that human! Okay. Good for you. Ah, fuck you. Well, it's, it's fine. I don't think Bandit's cannoning here is a good idea. Just dodging is probably the way to go on this one. Just hoping we'll get some shots in on her. Ah, fuck you. Ah. Fucking! Ah! ah! This is one of those days, huh? That's okay. That's okay. It's scary. There we go. God, that was annoying. <laughs> well, whatever. Okay. Let's hopefully do this properly now for the rest of the stage. So I don't have to like do it too many times. Get all the point out as we can because we need that one up. Come on. There we go. We can do about these guys or these guys. Do 
this. And take out these guys. There we go. Alright. Now we have to kill this fairy. I think just fast as fucking good is the right way to go here. Safer, or whatever. There we go. Because I want to one-up. If it if it like goes away, then one-up's gone. Sure, it's creepy when nothing's happening. Absurd, too. True terror lies beyond the fear that you expect. There's nothing more terrifying than a haunted house devoid of people acting as ghosts. Even Night Sparrow's is silent at midnight in the bamboo forest. To think there'd be humans wandering around in here. Who are you? Where is that this girl? I'm a human who's lived here for a long time. Don't worry, I won't kidnap you or eat you. Human? Doesn't look like one. Where is her? She definitely looks human, but be careful. So what are you doing out this late? I was thinking bamboo shoots. A trial of guts. Which of those? That ought to be obvious. Beneath the full moon, a human and a yokai are on a trial of guts? Does the human have guts or is she a fool? That human ought to have guts that are pretty stiff and tough to chew. Are you really a human? Can't say you have seen any humans who are fo this fond of guts. At least none who are still alive. Does she look alive to you, Marissa? Well, she looks dead to me. Well, maybe she just looks like she's not alive. Hey, don't treat people like phantoms. That's almost correct, though. You can see through illusions pretty well. So I guess you're a guts eater for that. Actually, I can't die. To be devoid of death is to be devoid of life. Without the unnecessary stakes of life and death, I'm about as close as you can get to a pure human. So I may be like a phantom in a certain sense. So she won't die, even if we roast or bake her too! How about if you try boiling and frying her? The human could reach a state of immortality. That legendary medicine must really exist. It wasn't a lie after all! I don't know what you're talking about. Who the heck would tell you a true story and make it sound like a lie? The medicine? You mean the horror elixir? That old thing. I used it all up a long, long time ago. Certainly I stole that medicine and an immortal even now. And an immortal even now. Kaguya still tries to kill me, but it's impossible to do that. This stupid fight of ours has dragged on for over a thousand years now. I get it now. All of it. So you're playing the role of the ghost in the haunted house. I did think that this whole trial of guts thing sounded weird when Kaguya brought it up. I defeated Kaguya, so it follows that I could put an end to you. Hey, you're not trying to steal all the credit to yourself, are you? Besides, defeating a human is a job for a yokai. The person before this is obviously mine to defeat. What, well, Kaguya was defeated? By these two in front of me? How do I say this? To think that such a troublesome Lunarian would be done in by a team like this. It's been such a long time since I had to confront such tough assassin assassins. Or maybe it's just your guts that are tough? It's too bad about the horror elixir. I wanted to get my hands on it no matter what. My guts are totally healthy, not stiff at all. Plus, I don't need any medicine. The horror elixir is a forbidden medicine that should never be consumed by humans. With a single touch, you will never become an adult. With the second touch, you'll forget all disease and illness. With a third touch, your souls will forever churn in torment. I really like this character depth, depth of Moku. That yes, she's immortal, but what good does it do her? She she has to see everyone around her die eventually. So in a sense, she's always alone. It's a really sad existence. You really feel for the for the girl. And like the only one who would be able to exist with her throughout all of this is just her fucking arch nemesis. It's like, come on, man, really? Alright. Let's... Is it that? There we go. Alright, let's be smart about this. Hopefully. Now it's just a case of when... Can I safely balance and when should I just buckle down and be a man and dodge? You know? It's one of those things where it's like you gotta weigh the consequences of your actions. Case in point. Okay. Ah, that was close. Not sure why I did it like that, but okay. There we go. Oh, okay, this might actually be a tough run with these two idiots as the team. Hopefully not too tough though. I'm just never used to the speed that Marissa brings, you know? That's always my problem. Okay. 
Okay. This one should be fine. I hope. Nice. And almost at the next at the last one up of the run, and then we'll just have to really be careful. I did not feel safe in that scenario right now for a moment. Okay. This one... Yeah, balancing here would not be a good idea, I think, because I need precise movements. Possibly blub blub blubbing is not gonna do me any good. Ah, fuck! Was close though, was close, almost did it. Maybe if I madness a bit it would have been fine. Now nah, whatever. It's fine, it's fine. We can live with this. Just gotta carefully. Okay. Honest man's death. Once you know the trick to honest man's death, it's honestly a pretty easy and fun spell, I would say. In the case of you need to know the trick to actually beat the spell, otherwise you're just fucked. Okay. We are making progress through the boss fight at least. Fuck you, Master Spark. To the face. To the face. Well, I, again, I messed it up. I don't know why, but I always have it in my mind that she goes to the other side when she does that. I don't know. Maybe I'm just stupid. It's always a possibility, you know. There we go. Okay. No, it's the it's the race. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, this one, the fires of death and suffering. Nope. <laughs> nope. That didn't happen. Great. Nice thing about bombing you, you can just kind of malice for a moment afterwards. It takes a second for the bullets to reach you again. Alright, this is where the bullshit begins and I have to react be careful again. Okay, oh great. I'm not even gonna entertain the thought of trying to cap this non spell. Yeah. No way in hell. Ah. I don't know what the fuck I was trying to do there. Clearly it didn't work though. Dow. Okay. So funny thing, you can actually drain her HP by attacking the, the familiars here. But by, by menacing it, it even like kind of works, and you can actually like defeat a timeout spell by draining its HP, which is pretty funny. But I'm not gonna be doing that because I don't have the skill for that or the gumption or whatever. I guess you could say I lack the guts to do so. Aha, funny. Damn! Explosions! Be careful of explody boops. Bad, bad explody boops. Okay. okay. 
Yeah, see, like, the HP actually goes down pretty quickly here when you attack a lot of familiars at once like that. But again, not doing that. Fuck, fuck, like, fuck, I would do that. Okay. Final spell, final spell! We got this, we got this, we can do this, we can do this! Come on, come on, come on. I think Balisa here is also a good like, idea, at least for the start. This is a simple movement that I can easily shift spam through. I think now it's a good time to stop doing that shit! I think it's time-based when, when she starts using her attack, so I just gotta skip shit. <laughs> nice! Oh, my goodness, that was way too tough for me! Wanna go again? Looks like you really can't die. She can't die, sure, but doesn't it look like she's running out of stamina? I've already reached my limit. I'd better give it a rest before my muscle pain tomorrow keeps me from moving. Muscle pain? That's all? You know, I've always wondered, if you divided the model right down the middle, which half still counts as their body? Why would you always wonder something like that? Immortality is like casting away the physical body. Your soul alone is what you actually are, and it's able to produce a new body. Souls don't have a particular size, so they can create a new body whenever they like. Conversely, a body without a soul would perish rather quickly, right? You sure know an awful lot. It looked like you really wanted the horror elixir. Do you want to become a mortal too or something? Not really. I'm just interested in souls. I thought I could use them to make independent dolls. Besides, that elixir wouldn't even work on Yokai, would it? Hey, I got another question. If souls don't have a particular size, then what's that thing that's always sticking around Yobu? It's a phantom, isn't it? Totally different thing. Never mind that, anyway. <laughs> As I am undying, phantoms aren't living. Maybe the, all that's different is our form and guts. Oh, I see. So, how did my trial of guts go? Oh, well. It's hard and blackish. Perhaps it's... Kihor... Chihoris of the liver? What? Ah, oh, no, I haven't been drinking that much alcohol. Where is it? Cure your liver? You should eat someone else's. Plus, an immortal's liver is. A human's guts would be a bit much, immortality aside. An immortal's body is immune to all disease, so my innards are totally clean. But don't go eating them. I'm not gonna, although the whole immortality thing is pretty appealing. Don't eat the intestines, Marissa. 